every weapon currently in COD Mobile. This is just the best. I mean, it it just is. Nothing competes with it. Every lobby you play with this is like in just an easy nuke. It is Damascus on the Black Ops 3 prize fighters. Something about this feels weird, but... All right, welcome back, guys. Back on the COD Mobile grind again, trying to get the Damascus boxing gloves. But more importantly, we're using what I think right now is probably one of the most OP weapons in the entire game. We're going to be getting the SVD or the Dragonoff, which, you know, I really like the Dragonoff and a lot of the games is used. We're going to be getting the Damascus camo on this. Hopefully, I'm not sure if it's going to unlock when we get it. It should. We got a 50-50 chance. So ooh, we still need to get a lot of kills with this. But other than that, like everything else is done. We got to get some long shots, 120. That's not that bad at all. We got to get 125 enemies with full attachments. That's going to be super simple. We got to get headshots. That will unlock itself. Already finished the no attachments. So what we're going to do, we're going to hop in, you know, the easy, easy long shot maps, get those out of the way. And then we're just going to fry with this thing on shipment. No joke. I'll show you guys what I mean. This weapon is actually insane. But on top of that, we also have to be using a rocket launcher because we are still working on logging this. But that is it. We are only missing two mastery camos in this entire game. We are missing the D13 sector, which we can't do in this video because we don't have it unlocked. And we're missing the SVD. So no matter what, once we unlock these two weapons, we will finally get Damascus on the boxing gloves, which is all I want. If you guys are new here, how I go about getting my long shots is on Killhouse. Killhouse is the single best map in the entire game for long shots. I'll show you what I what I mean. No other map matches even remotely close to it. Uh, but while we're loading in game, if you're new here, want to sub, I would greatly appreciate that. And on top of that, I got to give a massive thanks to everyone who's like, comment, and watch this video in its entirety as those three things matter massively helped me grow this channel and we are trying to get this to 10k subs is our current goal and uh, we're actually making decent progress because of all you amazing people uh doing those three things that we just recommended above okay here we go this is what i mean look at this watch now i'm gonna play like absolute garbage with this this thing is just a machine it like one shots everything and it has amazing fire rate and really doesn't have a lot of recoil like, we'll see if we can get a nuke with it. We do have ammo crate on, which is going to help. And okay, well, there we go. We did get a hit marker. But yeah, long shots fly into the left and the right. Long shots, even with snipers, are just so easy on this map. But obviously, once we get all the long shots done, we're going to move over to shipment because we've got to start getting the uh, just generic kills. And shipment's probably going to be a little bit faster than this. But yeah, let's let's go for that nuke, baby. Let's go for that nuke with this first game on. You know, when you need to spam, you can spam. They go behind a wall. Doesn't matter. Just spam a bunch of shots. This thing is ridiculous. This is definitely the best. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Come, uh, uh, okay. Where's our control? What the heck? All right. Nice. Nice to see that COD Mobile still does that occasionally. Ah, great. Now, now I've lost my mojo. All right. We got it. We got to get back. Ooh, wall bang after wall bang. We got to get back on the mojo. Once, once I lost control there, kind of. Ah. Bro, I swear the emulator for COD Mobile is just... Uh, dude, I really wish we'd get an official game like this on PC. No! Oh! We were on a pretty good streak. All right, we might not might not be getting the nuclear this game. I mean, there's still a lot of time left in this game. We're gonna... We were missing like 50 long... God dang it, dude. We were missing a ton of long shots. We might actually be able to finish all of the long shots we needed this game. I don't remember what, what we were missing, like 40? I think we'll get all 40 long shots this game. That's just how insane this map is. For long shots it just absolutely goaded all right go ahead place our sentry gun but you see what i mean like this thing just the killing potential this has compared to any other sniper is just insane like out of all of the weapons i've grinded damascus recently this is hands down a mile above all of those weapons i just wish i had a little bit better control i don't know why i keep losing control this usually isn't an issue it, it usually not this bad maybe it's because we're moving around a lot on screen and it's got some issues with that but hopefully we keep control of the window. But as I was saying, dude, if they now that Microsoft owns it, if they release a COD mobile style game for like consoles and PC, the amount of support it would have would be insane. Like I love playing this game. And the thing is, I've been playing this game kind of off and on since it came out. And I that doesn't happen with normal COD games. Like if they gave support like this and constantly added a weapon with, or a game with like 22 primary weapons in it. I'm just saying it, it, it'd be big. It'd be big. And I'd love to play it because playing on the emulator is a little janky. I mean, you have issues with control. Sometimes it locks up, all that stuff. But we just absolutely got these guys spawn trapped with this. Come on. Come on through the wall. Oh, we're going to get hit from behind. Nope, nope, nope. A little bit of hip fire. All right, but that's our goal. My goal, I'm going to go ahead, finish up this game. 
My goal is to have all of the long shots done so the next game we're playing on shipment. But uh, yeah, the nuke, the nuke's not gonna happen. Maybe if it does, I'll uh, I'll unpause the recording and I'll I'll catch you guys back up to speed on that. Ah, there we go. Ended up getting the nuke last minute. Doesn't matter. Still got to nuke our first game on with the SVD. Yeah, no no joke. If you haven't used this, if you haven't grinded this gold, this is definitely a weapon you should use because I think out of every weapon currently in COD Mobile, this is just the best. I mean, it it just is. Nothing competes with it. And, uh, oh, unfortunately, oh, can we still get him with a hip fire? Come on. Ah, but when in doubt, you can just hip fire close range. You absolutely can with it. Like, oh, oh, like it's okay. Well, that wasn't a good example. It's goaded at long range and close range. Just hip fire when you need to. Yeah, so this thing gets even better once you take off the big scope with it. I have never dropped so many nukes with a weapon. Dude, this thing just, it just doesn't stop. This is the single best weapon in the entire game and nothing, nothing even comes close. I mean, it the fact that it's got one hit potential, it has next to no recoil and you can just like quickly aim in with it. Like, dude, what can, yeah, another nuke. Like every, every lobby you play with this is like in just an easy nuke. It is, it is actually insane i didn't expect to like it this much but i don't know any other weapon in the entire game that can compete with this but yeah we'll definitely get damascus with it after this game all we needed was 18 kills and we just dropped the nuke with it which is 20 kills so if we just go ahead and collect all the tags we should be good to go and bro i really hope that um i hope we get the prize fighters unlocked I know I'm not going to be able to get the PPSH until I get the D13 sector, but after this game, that is the only weapon that is left. I don't even have it unlocked. We got to pay. Oh, oh, what the heck? What the? Bro, why does this happen? Ah, okay. What the? Bro. Oh, enemy UAV. I need that. I need the UAV. Okay, well, crap. Oh, honestly, dude, they're calling in so many UAVs this game. I think this is our third one. We might actually unlock the D13 sector this game too. That is all we need left is to destroy like 10 or so UAVs. I'm not, sh I've been keeping track, so I don't know exactly how many uh, we still needed, but hopefully we've made, dude, I, I have no control over this game. Every update makes the controls more and more wonky. Like there'll be updates where it's good, update where it's all over the place, but dude, these controls, I keep like unlocking the mouse and it's going all over the place. Come on, one more UAV, one more UAV. Dude, if we get this Damascus and unlock the D13 sector, dude, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm really not. Oh, but you know what? We got to do it. Whoa, come on, come on. Dang it, game's over. We got to do it because I really want to get the PPSH Damascus and we got to unlock every weapon that came prior to get Damascus on. Oh, here we go. MVP highlight. Is it going to be something, something cool? Dude, look at this weapon. Just, oh, one shot. Another guy. Oh, well, it was one kill. Oh, and then there's, there's the nuke. All right, we can skip this. Let's see. Prize fighters, baby. Give me those prize fighters. Give me those prize fighters. Three Damascus weapon unlocks. Let's get three of them right now. Actually, four? Maybe even four? All right, how much Damascus this game? Okay, I see one. Four! Let's go! Prize fighters, nunchucks, SVD, and the PKM. This is what we were waiting on. So it was the SVD this whole time that we were waiting on. It wasn't the crossbow. It wasn't all this other crap. So we can now try this out on multiple different weapons i am so excited two more game or two more we just got to get two more but we will worry about that for another game we're definitely going to try out damascus on this right now i have been waiting for this for so long the amount of weapons we have grinded to unlock the stupid prize fighters on top of that obviously we're going to check out the weapon we just unlocked boom and then on top of that we're going to make another class we're going to go here to LMGs. We're going to go to the PKM, Quick Equip, Gunsmith, Select Blueprints, the Gilded Lion. But on top of that, now we're going to put the Damascus on the Gilded Lion. Excited for that. And then the Nunchucks, which also look really good with camo. So we got four different sets of Damascus this game. And it's funny because we set out the series to get Damascus on the these two weapons. And we legitimately just did everything out of order. We unlocked so much crap on the progress to get here. But uh, it doesn't matter, boys. We're done with it. And then next game, or the, and the next time we play, we're going to get the disc launcher, the D13. And once we get that gold, we're going to get Damascus for that. We're going to get it for the Kilo and the PPSH. And we will be completely caught up on this game. Every single mastery camo will be unlocked. All Damascus, all Aether Crystals, all of the final tier camos will be usable on every single weapon. And I am so hyped. But let's go ahead and see what this looks like i'm not super excited for the svd i don't think it's gonna look fantastic but 
the uh, the prize fighters are the real prize. Okay, here we are in game. Here is the SVD, and I mean, it's not terrible, but uh, this is not what we came here to see. I'm glad we got it. I love this weapon. There they are, bro. Damascus on the Black Ops 3 prize fighters. Something about this feels weird, but so insane at the same time. Oh, you know, I still, I keep, just, I, I want this to be my first diamond weapon. Even though I said in the last video we weren't going to do it because they look so good with the Aether Crystal Camo. Bro, all the camos just look so good on this. Like, this is my favorite weapon to unlock camos with because it has the best coverage out of, like, any weapon in COD history. And it's good to use, and it's fun. So that might be our first set of Damascus. But here we go. Check out the Gilded Lion. This game is almost over. Uh, here we go. Actually looking kind of clean. It's got a lot of stuff going on with it, and it kind of clashes a little bit. But, you know, can't complain too much. And then, whew, then we have the nunchucks, baby. Then we got the nunchucks. All right. All, right. All, all four of these are dubs. All four of these are dubs. These things also insanely good. But now what I got to do is destroy one more enemy UAV, get the D13 sector, get that gold, and we are done. We're caught up. Ooh, is this the prize fighters? All right. This is this is going to be our outro right now is just dude, the prize fighters. Prize fighters with Damascus is amazing. If you guys want to see more COD Mobile content, we have COD Mobile slash Minecraft content uploaded every single day on this channel. We got a main channel where we upload uh, Cold War Vanguard content, and then we got a Facebook page where we're uploading exclusive, our exclusive daily God of War content that I highly recommend checking out. All the links below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, hey there. Thank you for watching the entire video. I've got to take this last moment here to give a huge thanks to everyone who came to Twitch sub or a YouTube member and extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an Unlock++ Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got the 2x Trader Purple. We've got the most OP Gobblegum ever, Round Robin. We have the hero, Arrow Pharaoh. And then we've got the absolute legend, Peyton Perkins. Once again, got to get a huge thanks to all of them for becoming Unlock++ Plus Plus members here on YouTube.